Fabian Ruiz has got this new team of the tournament card that looks absolutely fantastic. He is in the Nine Golan Gang. And we're going to need to build a 1 million coin PSG past and present team around him. And then we're going to go into a game and put him to the test. But we need to fill this team up with some players. So let's start off with the goalkeeper. In goal, it's pretty easy. Donnarumma's team of the season card's got to go in there. And he's costing about 80k. Uh, right back, we're going to be utilizing a objective card, which doesn't cost us anything towards a budget, and going with Soya. Yeah. First of the center backs I currently own, which is Path to Glory Skrinia, but I'm going to need to buy the second one, which is going to be none other than Marquinhos. Would like to maybe try out the new one, but within the budget restrictions, we're only going to be able to afford his team of season moments card i'm gonna go a little bit on the interesting side of things like left back though because rather than using nuno mendez and if i was good enough at foot champs i could have potentially have unlocked the objective card which would have been fantastic because objectives are free however we're gonna have to use hernandez i'm not gonna use nuno mendez because actually i've used his team of season moments card at left back before and didn't actually like it so i'm gonna give hernandez a try a left back instead changing up the formation to fit the rest of the players in we're gonna go with the right center mid and then we're gonna have fabian ruiz at left center mid but in that right center mid we're gonna go with path to glory Garte, who is currently 94 rated not bad obviously solid defensive stats on him you i have used him before he was okay but hopefully in this team we're hoping he's going to be a little bit better up uh, cam maybe some people might remember this person at psg some people might have forgotten that he is played at psg but we're gonna go with giovanni lo celso 97 rated with some incredibly high stats in this card so we're gonna hope that at cam he's gonna be able to do a nice bit of uh working between defenders passing the ball out maybe chipping in with a few goals and assists at right wing we gotta put in the filters argentina center forward and we're going to not go with messi we're going to go with the underappreciated angel di maria card at left wing we're gonna go with a dutch player who is in the bundesliga you probably guessed it already we got to put in RB Leipzig. Ew, I would love to use the 97 rated card, but a little bit on the pricey side. So we're going to have to use his team of the season instead. Our striker, you're probably thinking I'm probably going to go with Mbappe. No, I'm not going with Mbappe. I'm going to go with a team of the season instead. So we've got to go with the filters. We've got to put in the women's league. We've got to go PSG. And then we are going to put in Chawinga into the team at striker instead. Could have maybe have got Mbappe in there. But Mbappe is a boring choice. We've got to go exciting. This is what we're going to have instead. And generally speaking, not bad. Obviously, we've got a few former players in here. Four former players. But predominantly currently PSG in here. And this team only comes to 860k when you don't include Fabian and Ruiz in there because we don't include the marquee players price in the value of the squad it is the rest of the players that are making up the 1 million so there was actually some room to maybe spend elsewhere but that is the team that we're going to be using so I'm going to buy up the players fill up the bench and then get into a game Ah, Fabian, thank you. Get that uh, si uh, tackle. Interception. You know what I'm saying. Come on. Di Maria. Petacek. I just hate coming up against Petacek. Go on, Donnarumma. Make sure we get a clean sheet in this game. I don't normally get clean sheets, but if we can keep a clean sheet, it would be always a nice little added bonus. Good. Save again, Donnarumma. 
I haven't really had much in terms of shooting opportunities myself. I feel like I'm a bit more on the defensive side at the moment. Garte's doing fantastic in midfield. We'll do my usual riskiness of whipping it into the box. Shall we go? Oh, pet check. No shock there. Deny me as always. <laughs> uh, the part, like, who was that two game? Ooh, still got it. Try a shot from distance. Hey! Okay. I mean, I'll take it. And this is an assist for Ruiz. That's probably the best pass that she's done in the game so far. Go on, get another. Uh, no, you go from distance. Sky, Sky, it is not going to help me win this game. Halftime stats are actually looking pretty good, apart from the shot accuracy for my team. Doing uh, good defensively. We've had more shots. Not had quite as much possession. But I think it might be a little bit down to... I don't often use this formation. So it's getting used to the positions of players. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> That's... The... Oh, God! It's an 88-rated Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez has just scored on me. Nicely done, Skrinia. I feel like he could have probably had a shot there. Go on, take a shot. Come on. Stop the Naomi check. There we go. She's finally scored. She took her time about it, but we're back in the lead at least. Oh my God. If I had conceded again to Sanchez there, I probably would have wanted to tear my hair out. Go on, Ruiz! No, check! Ah! Oh. No, stay calm, stay calm. I know check is annoying me, but stay calm. Fudge. Di Maria? No, he's at the post. Fabian? No, he's uh, being denied there. Trying to do a diving header of all things in that situation. That was a nice little bit of play. A fourth minute. Going to go up. Now no, I just need that to be the actual winning goal now. No. Oh, I've been carved open like a turkey. Well, ends as a 3-3 draw. That. Got last goal probably should have done a lot better, but I gotta say m the defending on this game isn't my strongest point. I just don't like it, um, especially because you can't trust the the tackling in this game. Like if you want to actually do a tackle, chances are you're not actually going to win the ball back. I mean, just looking at those match stats, you know, I probably should have won. Uh, you know, I had. Over double the amount of shots to him. Pretty much nearly double the amount of expected goals. I've got more tackles, more interceptions. Just about. It's just Petr Cech can be the most irritating. And some of the shots should have probably been on target. But just completely missed. And I generally think Fabian Ruiz in a proper team could be a very nice card. In this team, he didn't do too bad of a job. Their defense and Donnarumma. I'm not being a big fan of Donnarumma this year in uh, in terms of goalkeepers. I, I wouldn't even put him probably in the top ten of goalkeepers that I've used this year. But you know, I would say not bad for a one million coin team. Could maybe chop and change a few things. I think maybe a different formation because I do prefer two striker formations over one striker formations. Not normally somebody that goes with a 4-3-3 as well. But, you know, there's a lot of positives with this team. Uh, I think that midfield, three, wasn't too bad. But I think if you maybe, I don't know, change it to a diff, Like maybe a 4-1-2-1-2. And then you took out Zav Simmons and you took out 
and Galdino are in, you put in maybe another midfield, uh, and then obviously you put another midfielder in there, and then you have a second striker. Generally, could be a, quite an interesting team. But that is it for this one million coin squad build. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye, guys.